Hey everybody, Zach here, and welcome back to the channel. It's time to talk about Ada Cardano, and if and when it'll get to a hundred billion dollar market cap and rival the likes of Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are both well over the hundred thousands. They're in the hundred thousands right now in overall market cap. And I'm going to answer that question later on in the video, but I just want to talk a little bit about Cardano's story to this point this year. As you all know, if you've been here on the channel before, I have been super bullish about Cardano for a few reasons. Number one uh, is they're already solidified as a top 10 cryptocurrency project right now. They have an unbelievable founder. That's another reason why I love what they're doing. Charles Hoskinson, who came from the Ethereum group over to start Cardano, comes in with a wealth of knowledge, okay? And in bringing that over, he has designed in what he believes is a better Ethereum, right? And I'll show you a little bit of, about that. Now, there are some drawbacks when we compare Cardano to Ethereum too, and there are some reasons why I don't think Cardano will ever overtake Ethereum. However, there's still room for, the, for both in the space. Now, I'll get there in just a second. So, uh, let me scroll down here. Okay, basically, uh, Charles Hoskins had started Ethereum with the co-founder uh, Vitalik Buterin and some others. And he basically started, and you know, they had a falling out, he started Cardano because he wanted to make something more scalable, more secure, and more efficient uh, at uh, processing. And so essentially, he also had this different vision of helping various countries uh, and really using this as more of a real world use case for the technology he's creating with Cardano, okay? Now, the pullback is, while some people are, will argue Cardano is more scalable, it's more secure and more efficient, the problem is how many things are actually running on its platform right now? And that answer is a lot less than Ethereum. So I still believe Ethereum will stay number two and eventually become number one in market cap. But I do think Cardano has a chance to stay at number three for a long time. I've been saying and touting this on the channel and I did not think it would happen this quickly, uh, provided Cardano had this crazy run-up. I did not see this coming in the charts, right? I saw more of this slow growth over the next several months and thought eventually it would pass, you know, some of the uh, top names that were ahead of it, one being Tether, the other being Binance Coin. Well, it has since done that and is now number three, as you can see on coin market cap. It has a market cap right now of $70 billion. So when will it get to a $100 billion market cap? Will it happen this year? And the answer is, I think it could. And we're gonna learn a lot more come early September as we're looking at a particular date. Uh, this is a date to definitely keep on your calendar. Right here, Nigel Hemsley, head of delivery for Cardano said in a video released by Developer Input Output Friday uh, that the platform would launch the Alonzo upgrade on Monday, September 12th. Uh, though a quick glance at the calendar shows that the date falls on a Sunday this year, the developer later tweeted again saying that the platform targeted simply September 12th for the upgrade. Okay, so Sunday or Monday, somewhere around September 12th. We're going to keep that date at the forefront because this is going to be, in my opinion, another major catalyst for Cardano here in the short term. A lot of people calling for $5 later this year. I think that could happen. I think four to 450 is more likely at this point, uh, simply because I think there's gonna be a big pullback the way this is running up. Uh, if there isn't, I'll be totally shocked, okay? But institutional money is getting behind this, which means it can be manipulated a little bit more. And I think this is a good thing overall. We want institutional money in here. We want whale activity. Uh, we want the big pumps, right? But there, what, what goes up must come down a little bit here. And I just don't know if it's going to go all the way to five uh, before leveling off. We'll see. I mean, I'll be pleasantly surprised if it does. Cardano is my second largest holding. So I'm not sitting here saying I don't want it to happen. But uh, it's got all the way up uh, yesterday. In the last 24 hours, it's gotten up to $2.25, which is six cents off of its all-time high, which was set back in mid-May of 2021. Now, uh, it's already over 70 billion. It has gained quite a bit in the last few days. I think it can get to 100 billion by the end of the year. 
as we head closer to the smart contract launch, because all of this hype right now is just leading up to September. So we still have a long time here. As long as the market stays green, Bitcoin and Ethereum stay green as we lead up to these bigger dates for Cardano, then sure, uh, it can certainly happen. Now, if we see a big pullback in the market, this one might sell off a little bit more than others, given how quickly it rose. Okay, but right now the trading volume is looking great. It's up 15%. You could see the yesterday's open at $1.83. It closed at $2.14. Crazy fluctuation uh, for Cardano, and uh, this thing has just shot up. There's no, there's no way to really explain it otherwise. Just a week ago, it was $1.39, okay? And it was hovering at that $1.40 mark, which we know it tends to like, that $1.30, $1.40 mark. We saw that uh, throughout the month of June and July. And uh, here in the month of August, though, this is the rally that we all thought would happen. This is why you hold during these times where uh, it feels like desperation, right? It feels like you're, you're not ever going to make any money on your investment, and it can be, be troubling. And I totally understand that. But this is why you trust the process. When you invest in good assets and you hold them, this is why. Because uh, the patient investor always wins. And now we're reaping the benefits. All of those Cardano holders who held the bag during the ups and downs. Heck, they may have even added to their positions, especially at this point when Cardano got all the way down here at 102. That's the low here. It should be the low in the last 90 days. Well, it was a dollar, actually. Low in the last 60 would be 102. Here it is. Low in the last 30 is 102. I added onto my position there. I lucked out there, but I couldn't pass that up. Seeing Cardano at $1.02, I know what Cardano means to me, personally, as an investment. Uh, it's my second largest holding next to Ethereum. I don't consider that a hedge against Ethereum. I consider that to be uh, a big player in a space where I think Ethereum will be number one and Cardano will be number two. That's my bet. Uh, and again, not a financial advisor, just my you know, opinions here based off what I read, what I see, and the knowledge and information that I've gathered over uh, the last few years okay, on Cardano. And really, uh, even more importantly, like more specifically, over the last several months where I've really honed in on Cardano and looked at their various projects. They're continuing to work with different countries, okay? Uh, and I love that this is happening because number one, it's great for our world, right? That we can show this type of use case uh, for cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. Number two, this is going to be appealing to the big money investors. This is going to be appealing to the institutional investors. Grayscale Trust has already put their trust in Cardano by making 4% of that overall trust in Cardano's asset in ADA. So I think that's huge. I think that's just the first step to where institutions are really going to back this. We're seeing this also happen in higher education. There are universities that are investing in Cardano uh, because of these efforts. There's going to be big money piling in here, okay? And, and we're seeing that already with Bitcoin. We're starting to see it a little bit with Ethereum. I think Cardano's the next project to get that institutional backing. Again, just my thoughts here. I want to gather yours as well. But the answer is yes. I see Cardano hitting a $100 billion market cap. I do not see it passing Ethereum and Bitcoin anytime soon. I know there's some people really super bullish on that. There's a little fly flying around trying to get it out of my head, out of my face. <laughs> but... Uh, I do see it sitting at number three now for a while. I think it solidified itself. I think it has a great, great future. And uh, I think uh, I'd love to hear from you now. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Hopefully you got some value. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll be, we'll be breaking. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be talking about more content per usual. All things crypto right here on the channel. Take care.